Let's try to understand few concepts which are going to help us for curve sketching. And we're taking example of rational function in this case. The question is, determine the conditions on parameter k such that the function f of x equals to 2x plus 4 divided by x square minus k square will have critical point. Now we always find critical points for a function to figure out increasing and decreasing intervals and local maximum and minimum values. So they are very very critical and critical points are the points where the first derivative of the function is 0. So let's figure out when will this function have 0 for the first derivative. So for that let's find first derivative. So what is f dash x? Now this is given in the quotient form so let's use the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is denominator square which is this correct derivative of the numerator which is just 2 times denominator x square minus k square minus derivative of denominator which is 2x times the function which is 2x plus 4 so we got the derivative now and let's simplify this let's see what we get now 2x square and here we get 4x so let's multiply them all. So we get 2x square minus 2k square and this is minus 4x square and minus 8x divided by x square minus k square whole square. Now let's simplify the numerator. We got 2x square minus 4x square that means minus of 2x square and then we have 2k square okay so we have minus of 2x square okay minus 8x minus 8x let's write them in order and minus 2k square is is a constant so we write at the end minus 2k square divided by k x square minus k square whole square right now we can take minus 2 common if we do that what do we get we get x square plus 4x and this is plus k square divided by x square minus k square whole square. Now in this particular function the numerator is x square plus 4x plus k square. Now if, if at all this function has to have real roots then I mean for f dash x to 0 now for critical point f dash x should be equal to 0 so this should be equal to 0 for critical point correct so critical point is a point where f dash x is equals to 0 right so we equate it to 0 and then figure out what is the value of x for which this can be 0 now it can have a zero value only if this thing is greater than equal to so when will this so that means this equals to zero means x square plus 4x plus k square should have real roots now this is a quadratic equation x square plus 4x plus k square it can have real roots only if b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0 correct so that is the concept which we are going to use so quadratic equation has a 0 only if b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0 correct now what is abc here a is equals to 1 let me write here a equals to 1 the coefficient of x square b is equals to 4 coefficient of x and c is equals to k square right so that is what a b and c are so let's check the condition when is b square minus 4 ac greater than or equal to 0 correct so that's what we are going to check now so let's write down b is 4 so 4 square is 16 so let me write 16 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is k square and that has to be greater than or equal to 0 that is what we are trying to do so that is our b square minus 4ac you get it 
So, I mean, right. So, that is what we're trying to figure out. Now, that means 16 minus 4k square should be greater than or equal to 0. So, that is the equation or rather inequality which we need to solve. Okay. So, let's solve this inequality. What do we get? So, I'll move horizontally here since we have a lot of room to work with. So, that really means that 16 we can divide by 4, right? So, we get here 4 and we'll take minus k square to the other side is greater than equals to k square, right? Square of k is less than equal to 4. It means what? It means that k is within plus and minus 2, right? So that means k is greater than minus 2, but it is less than 2. So k is between plus and minus 2, correct? That is what it means, right? So 4 is greater than or equal to k square means absolute value of k is less than 4, right? Let me write it in absolute terms also. This also means that if I do square root both sides, square root of k square will be absolute k. Do you understand? And this will be 2. So we can write this as that 2 is greater than or equal to absolute value of k. Or we can write in this term, which is more familiar to you. So that means k has to be between plus and minus 2 for this function to have critical points. If k is not between plus and minus 2, in that case, b square minus 4 is c will not be greater than 0 and so will not have any real roots so there and therefore f dash x will not be 0. Do you understand? Get the point? So that is our answer. So we get the answer and which is that so our answer we can write down here. So this function will have critical points if and only if absolute value of k is less than equals to 2 or or it really means that k is greater than or equals to minus 2 but less than or equals to 2. So that is how we can answer this question. So have a good look at it, try to understand the concept and then let me know if it is still not very clear about. Let's go through it once again. Question was determine the conditions on parameter k such that function f of x 2x plus 4 over x square minus k square will have a critical point. Now, will have a critical point basically means f dash x should be equal to 0. If it is not equal to 0, then that means no critical point. Now, we found the derivative and f dash x could be 0 if numerator is 0. Now, numerator had a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation will be 0. That means b square minus 4ac should be greater than or equal to 0. And that led us to this conclusion that the value of k should be between minus 2 and plus 2. I hope that makes it absolutely clear. Thank you.